all the world's stage and all men and women merely players. And one man in his time plays many parts. It's a monologue by William Shakespeare. Shakespeare is my friend, philosopher, guide, and guru. I often recite his monologues. I find it good for my body, mind, and spirit. Friends, recently there was an intense drama, cast, suspense, desperate, desperation. The protagonist found an unlikely ally. She helped him to rise from his misery. But then there was a surprising plot twist which he never foresaw. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and friends, if you are wondering who that guy was, it was me. And if you think it was a fantasy, it is real. I am telling you the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I belong to the northeastern part of India, and we have a community here in US, bound together by common history, cultural heritage, and our mother tongue called Every year on 4th of July weekend, we hold the annual get together. There are a few meetings, including a literary meeting where an annually published magazine is released. I have been writing for that magazine. In fact, they published my Toastmaster speeches. And my wife contributes her poems in English. This year, after discussing with my wife, I sent a proposal to the president of the literary wing, asking if she could arrange a poetry recitation by my wife in the meeting. The president, Ms. Shah, who is highly regarded in the community, immediately responded accepting the proposal. But in two weeks, she sent another email asking if my wife could recite in SMS since it was about preserving our language. I was disappointed by the condition. The translation would require a language keyboard, a dictionary, interpreter. Impossible. Then I became more upset with the community the jealous people, the perceived enemies, how inconsiderate they were. I was filled with rage. But then, there was an unexpected twist when I began a solid inquiry with my other self, which I call my conscience. I often engage in such conversation but if you think I suffer from a hallucination, you are mistaken. Such monologue is good for your body, mind, and spirit. And in fact, I urge you to do so every day regularly. You will make the great Shakespeare proud. Hello, you are making something big out of something little. My conscience was telling me that he blasted me. You are selfish. You think about only yourself, your need, your interest, your liking. Have you thought about Miss Shah? She is accountable to the community and she is just trying to follow the rules. Have you put yourself in her shoes? I sat down quietly as I let go my selfish thoughts and let in the coherent and meaningful thoughts. There was a great revelation. I found an unlikely ally, the multilingual language Trasley, sister of Google. I fondly named her Miss Trasley. <coughs> I can help you translating your points, wife's points. Really? You mean I don't need 
a keyboard, dictionary, interpreter. Yes, you type this side of the screen and you see the translation in the other side. As I started typing, in less than five minutes, my wife's poem in English was translated to Assamese. I could not believe my eyes. It was a miracle. I hurriedly sent the translated poem to Misha. She immediately responded, accepting the translation and saying, see you at the convention on 4th of Zola, America's Day of Independence. Freedom, liberty, pursuit of happiness. At that, I was pulled into the ground, unexpected. At that convention, I met Misha. She was so pristine, so kind-hearted, so generous in her manner. I felt as if she was the embodiment and reflection of the goodness of our community. She complimented me for learning Google Translate. I know you're doing it for your wife. The meeting was about to start in an hour. I decided to take a break in an empty room nearby. I was in deep sleep, but then I woke up to a huge commotion. It was my wife brandishing the meeting agenda. She pointed to the line. Poetry recitation by Mr. and Ms. Pora. I jumped out of my slump. What happened? What happened? What's the problem? You are the problem. This is my poetry, my recitation, my performance. Why are you interfering here? I realized I forgotten to tell her the behind the scene translation work. I took the break, but then I quickly introduced her to Miss Translate. Look, she can translate any of your poems to any language you want. She was impressed, but then she asked, why your name here? I do not know who entered my name. I asked nobody. I, I, I swear, honey, I'm telling you the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Finally, the meeting began. She was on stage and began the poetry recitation with her mesmerizing voice. I watched it all. She looked beautiful, as beautiful as I ever seen. She came off the stage to the cheering audience. I was beaming with pride. All the world's a stage and all men, all men and women, merely cares. And one man in his time plays many parts. Oh, William Shakespeare. Yes, it is. I played so many parts. Your words are so true. All the glory to you. Oh, bastard. 